All right, today I am talking about the torpedo wall of sound specifically for the use in bass. What does it sound like? It sounds like this. Now, I've got it set so that it's only sensing the bass cabinets and the stuff that I have on my computer, meaning it's only going to show me and allow me to scroll through the licenses that I own and bass cabinets. So let's see how many bass cabinets we get with the Torpedo Wall of Sound. You get one, two, three, four, back to one, four bass cabinets. Cool. You also get room modes. What do these sound like? Well, let's hear Studio A. Now you're starting to notice more dramatic sound. The Crypt. The Cathedral. Listen to the low end in that room sound. And if there's too much room sound, you just turn it down right here. Boom, boom. Rarely do I straight up recommend that someone buy a product. Um, I got my wall of sound for free. At this $39 price point, I can't see any reason why you wouldn't want to buy it because it is a really good sounding um, software. Or you buy a Two Notes product and you get it as a bonus. Two Notes has a really nice series of preamps and they have a really good integration between their hardware and their software. Let's get back to the Digital Audio Workstation. So I've been showing you this in, simula in uh, arcade mode. I've shown you the rooms. I've shown you the cabinets. Now we've got the mics. We're starting with Dynabase 88. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And how many rooms do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And it sounds great. Now, I'm using an external preamp right now, but that's not the only uh, use scenario for this. I'm gonna turn off that preamp. I've got Guitar Rig 5 all set up here to just be a bass pro. So I'm using Guitar Rig 5, which is a free um, amp sim with the torpedo wall of sound and this is what it sounds like now why would you do this okay well let's go ahead and put a matched cabinet on here now it's just a guitar rig
right? Sounds pretty good. However, let's go right back over here. Sounds a bit better. Let's change the cabinet. We're going to leave it there for now. So that's why I would just get rid of the cabinet sim in Guitar Rig 5 and use the IRs in, uh, in two notes. So what I've been showing you has been arcade mode. Let's go over to simulation mode. Ah, now simulation mode offers a lot more control. So here you can turn your power amp on and off which you can do in the other mode as well, and you control the volume of your power amp, but here you get presence and depth. You could do pentode, triode mode. Here's all your mic controls, right? So you see the little mic on the screen moving, right? You can really dial in where you want your mic to be. You also get an exciter. Turn some compression on if you want it. I like a slow attack and a fast release. You can change your tubes. that. Now as you can see this is, has a darker ring around it that means I'm altering um, this this cabinet and over here I'm altering this cabinet so that one's a fat mama well maybe I don't want a fat mama over here maybe I want something else Let's see what we got here there we go cool you can link them if you want I can do all those same mic controls. I can even mic the back of it. And now that's where something is kind of cool. You could go ahead and uh, set it to the same cabinet. So we'll do Fat Mama. So this is going to be the front of the Fat Mama. Right? This is going to be the back of the Fat Mama. As you can see, you can go really in depth with this. You can also change your rooms, go to the basement. So. Well, we want to put this one in the basement too, don't we?
maybe we want to make the back with something different. Let's make the back with a condenser. So it's a pretty deep software, it's pretty in-depth. Let's go back to arcade mode. Ah, see this? My settings may change sound when I go back to the arcade mode. So arcade mode and simulation mode act differently and will sound different. But that's okay, because when you save a preset in arcade mode and you load it up again, it loads up in arcade mode. When you save it in simulation mode and you load it up again, it loads up in simulation mode. So let's say OK. We're done with that. We're going back to arcade mode. Now over here I have it set just for base and computer. It means it's looking for base cabinets that I have licenses for. Let's go online. Now it's giving me access to the entire library of stuff that they have. So I can just switch my cabinet. And all this stuff is available online. What do I like? There we go. That Mesa cabinet. I actually do really like the sound of that Mesa cabinet. Right there. Now in arcade mode, the controls are way simpler. You also get the harmonics and contour controls, which I don't believe they had in simulation mode. And you hear that little bit of silence that happened and you saw this flash that's what happens when you're using the demo cabinets so you'll get a flash of silence this will let you know that you're using a demo version so say you like this cabinet you're like I like it I want it I need it hit the cart boom it's gonna bring me right to the website there it is in my cart, I can proceed to, cut, to check out, and we're done. If I don't like it, let's just turn that out. I've removed it. Cool. Shut this down. Cancel it here. We're back to where we were before. Perfect. As always, Use your ears to choose your gear. If you're smart, you'll follow your heart.